wash your hands more and now it's, it's, it's COVID over, you're allowed to not wash your hands. Like maybe these are just good ideas. Don't tailgate in the fog or in the sun. How about that? If you're hitting the roads for holiday gatherings, the Alabama Department of Transportation wants to make it a smooth ride, rain or shine. Officials say the department will limit road work and lane closures from Christmas Eve through the 26th, then again from New Year's Eve through the 22nd, excuse me, through the 2nd of January. AAA expecting nearly 100 million people to hit the roads this year. ALDOT says plan ahead, don't drive distracted, and please wear your seatbelt. The holiday season means so many things to so many people, but around the globe, dancers and studios take the nutcracker and do their own version of it. Birmingham has a very special version, though. CBS 42's Landon Wexler joins us with more on this. Good morning, guys. Yes, tonight is opening night for the Alabama Ballet of their rendition of George Ballantyne's The Nutcracker. And folks, it took days upon days of preparation to get show ready. And performing in George Ballantyne's The Nutcracker means the world to the performers. But according to Alabama Ballet's Associate Artistic Director, Roger Van Flatteren, this show is every studio's opportunity to share the beauty of ballet with their communities. Usually, Nutcracker is the one production a year that companies survive on because it's their biggest selling show. So it's crucial that everything come together perfectly for Nutcracker and that it, it, the dancing, the sets, the costumes, the music, everything has to be perfectly together because it's our biggest show and we want to make the audience and the city see how good we are. You can support the Alabama Ballet and see the culmination of the company's tireless effort and determination pay off. I'll have pricing and details on our CBS 42 app. Coming up in a bit on the CBS 42 Morning News, you'll hear from a couple of the dancers you'll see on stage here at the BJCC. See you in a little bit. See you then, Landon. Thank you. More to come here. Lillian's up next with the Morning Talk, what's trending online, what we're talking about, and what you might be talking about today, too. Coming up on a very foggy Friday on the CBS 42 Morning News.